Hello everybody, welcome to another NAF Rules Ladder game up against Toby Nathan with Black Hawks, which is uh, always lovely to see Black Hawks as an opponent. Um, is this a dirty player he's got here? Yep, dirty player and a mighty blow, a tackler. That's good, that's wasted against us. Couple of guard, couple of block and a... Trolling a mighty blow, yeah, so pretty good. And then seven guard for me. <laughs> the seven guard orcs. I do love seven guard orcs. I think it's, uh, you know, very, very strong. Yeah, those pro elf bash teams are annoying. <laughs> is that the, is that the <laughs> core carrying me in PC? That would be incredible. Slown a wamp, so, man. I really hope they do once in a. I really hope they do once in tabletop. In tabletop in Blood Bowl three. Sorry, I can't speak. I just literally just said completely the wrong things. I was thinking of playing tabletop. <laughs> I really hope they do once on Blood Bowl three. You know, ever. Would be good, wouldn't it? I like actually want to play vamps. And, you know, nothing against Chris or anything. But, um, but the problem is with Fumble, it just doesn't look good, does it? It just doesn't. It just doesn't. As much as I, as much as I find the graphics charming, that is what it is. There's a lot of guard, yeah, there's a lot of guard. I love guard. Mm mm mm. Tasty guard. The quick snap. Plim plum plu. I quite like this kind of tight, you know, like aggressive formation against the Black Hawks to. You know, it doesn't really mitigate the uh, brawl behind the line, but it helps a little bit, doesn't it? Wow, cheeky wanna. Oh, hey. Straight into the one and nine. You'll love to see it. A block plus block. Had the 2D here as well. Doesn't have it anymore. <laughs> because these guys are going to stand up. Right. Blocking him is incredible. Because then I get to run through. I don't actually get to run through. So I've got to blitz this guy first anyway. So. Might as well do it without um, block. So I get an extra player. I'll, I'll, I'll try and block him first. And do this 2D. Diced. Okay, yes, 2D, we'll try it. Get the power, beautiful. He goes in. It is possible to move in and 2D him, but then it's making it harder for the rest of the stuff, isn't it? Okay. Should I have geofied to get him in range, or is he is he in range? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no. So maybe I could have geofied him to get him in range. But 
didn't. That's okay, because he's got two over here. He hasn't got the movement to get back over here unless he dual GFIs. And if he does, he still doesn't have uh, protection anyway. He hasn't passed. Oh, there's a GFI. He's only got, what, two players free to protect and I need to dodge. So he's already in a absolute despair. At the, uh... At the start of the drive. He used a reroll on the first turn, right? He used a reroll on the troll and it failed. So he, I, I'm sure he started with three rerolls and is already down to one. So that's pretty good. Lovely troll fail. Basing the blitzer obviously stops the blitzer blitzing, but you know I've still got these two blitzers here. Which might be able to do something. Follow-ups here means something could happen. Finally closes this up. I can still just run around the side, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, double GFI. I'm going to block him first. He can block him, get the guard in there. Then he can 2D him, then he can 3D him if it's a pal. This guy needs an assist to hit there. Yep. There's no other ones with block. So start with this block, see if it's a pal. It's not a pal. Okay, well, he could go in there, and then he could blitz. This one eventually, All right. So now block this one. Keep him away from the troll. Three dice, never lucky. It's an annoying push. This uh, a stupid troll here is pretty annoying, right? It's really bad. A stupid troll is really bad. A one in nine is really bad. I think I have to be sensible and not block. Tragically, tragically, I have to be sensible.
Oh yeah, I've got Amazon's painted, I forgot about those. Got an Amazon team. I found some of the pictures. Being sensible, I do apologise. Power him. Gonna make a troll block here, I think. Man, that was a good square. Okay, it's not anymore. <laughs> Well, hey! Okay. I've got to make a troll block this turn, I think. No, I guess I could... He could block him, maybe? Oh. Yeah, okay. Really nice. So he's strength four five. He's strength five. So if he could cancel this assist, then he could one D him to free up the big one. Let's see if I power this first, I guess. So now if he pushes him even, it frees him up for the GFI Blitz with block, which is obviously the best thing I can do. And as much as I hate the 1 in 9, I have to try it. Yeah, boy. That has to be the right move, doesn't it? Even re-roll this. Into Notten. Maybe he could go there and then I can still make this block, right? And still 1D there. Get him. And then move this guy back. Because like it's, he's still just going to have to dodge with the... Yeah, maybe I should have done, I don't know. Maybe I should have done that. I just, maybe I should have, yeah, because I still had three, didn't I? I did think about it, yeah, because I thought about it. Maybe I should have done. The problem is, if the follow-up had been 3D, if, I, if, I'd, if, I'd, if, I'd, uh, if I'd got rid of this guy first, right, so the follow-up was going to be 3D, but then that's like an extra two two, two pluses then.
But I've got three rerolls, so yeah, maybe I should, maybe I should have just done the extra GFI, yeah, and then that would have given us a follow up. And then I wouldn't have had to reroll the 2D hit on a non pow The problem is, like, the absolute failure, right, of failing the GFI is so bad, even though it's only 1 in 36, like, it's just so bad. It's so bad to fail. Yeah, well, that, 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 that's the other thing, right? The, the failing the GFI is just so bad that I just didn't want to fail it and get nothing, right? Whereas if I just push him, it's not terrible, is it? It's not terrible if I just push him. But if I fail the GFI, then it's disaster. So I, I wanted to minimize, minimize the risk of disaster. Maybe if it had been versus core, I would have done the extra GFI. This was the problem that I knew about running this guy back, is he can just dodge, he can just dodge with this goblin and touch him anyway. Oh god. Oh, thanks Cole. O-O-W-A. <laughs> Oh, brawler into a pal. Outrageous. Good. All the other teams are alright, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Good. <laughs> right. There's a there's a thrower. Wait, can this guy this guy can just double GFI to punch. But again, I could now I could dodge to two D into a three D, couldn't I? Dodging, oh man, this is tough. Dodging into a 2D and a 3D, but then again, like then it's a one in nine of just absolute failure. But then this is like so unlikely to work without the block. The blitz without the block is so unlikely to work. Then I think the correct course of action has to be dodge blitz. Thanks God. God. Phew. <laughs> God, oh, I could have just blocked with a thrower, couldn't I? Oh no, I wanted the I wanted to run the thrower back. But three, four, five, yeah, the thrower could have just punched. And then I could have moved the troll back. But I didn't want to reroll anyway, so it's still better to block with a troll. Uh, still better to block with a troll, right? It's still better to block with a troll because I didn't want to reroll it. Whatever happened, but obviously getting the throw back to here would have been really good, whereas getting the troll back to there wouldn't have been very good at all. So it was still right to hit with a troll. I didn't want to use my last reroll on it. With the blitzer, problem with this blitzer is you couldn't get anywhere, right? It's screened here, and uh, so I wanted to. I'm gonna get there, then that gets me. And it's just as likely to work whether it's a troll or a thing because I've got my wheels on. Go, can he still score? He can't score this turn at least. <sighs> well, hey, no rerolls. <laughs> yes. No rerolls. Love to see it. Right. So now. This guy's going to go here as a handoff threat. <laughs> I 
God damn it. Gives us, oh, that gives us this hit, which frees that blitzer. Doesn't free him. Okay, so he's got a 1D into a touchdown. Uh, I guess I should have geified with a with a Mr. Throw. I was thinking I'd free this guy and he'd stand there. But obviously I didn't power him, so that didn't work, did it? I should have geified with this fella. Now it's just a 1D into into losing. <laughs> oh. oh no. It's just literally a dodge and a wandy, isn't it? And then a touchdown. Oh dear. Maybe I should have blitzed for the ball carry and then dodged. Phew. <laughs> it's so scary. Okay, good. <sighs> right, now, now the fear is over, because at least the the counter score isn't, well it's not the counter, it was his drive, but at least the score isn't happening. Oh my god, I nearly pushed him there. <laughs> He's standing around in no man's land. No problem. Dub scores again, well done troll. Fantastic troll. Just need to push there and then this guy could have come and assisted this block to stop the 4 plus 2D. Coffee doesn't work on Nissan Slyker. So, it's not going to do a lot of work. Blitz. Yeah. Good. I guess I want to move him so he can't get touched here. He could have been basing me there throughout all of those dice I was rolling. 
Now he can't be touched. A troll redemption arc, yeah. <laughs> yeah, at least he makes the two plus to double skull, yeah. Maybe I should have thought about vomiting. I don't think so though, because one in nine is better than one in six, isn't it? There's still a chance to turn over the troll, isn't it? If you uh, if you injure yourself, or no, no, you can just you just hurt yourself. You still place prone, right? You don't you don't turn over with a troll. You just hurt yourself, so it's not completely risk free. Yeah. It's not risk free, but it's turnover free. Definitely gonna troll somebody out. You can, yes, it's uh, it's not like a stab. It's not like a stab or a chainsaw or a chaos dwarf fire breather. It is, uh, you are free to vomit and move afterwards. Follows up into instant troll vomit. Do you know what, as well, I was thinking, maybe I should have, uh, you know, got an assist for him last turn rather than two dice in the troll, but never mind. Ah, <laughs> uh, so am I going to blitz? I guess I blitz the troll. Even though we can regen. Or I could have these for like uh, scatter catchers. I think blitzing the troll is better, so... I mean, not if you blitz. I didn't blitz, right? I didn't declare a blitz. There was no reason because I wanted a blitz as well. But if if it was a blitz, I could have moved. If I had declared the blitz action, I could have moved afterwards. But I wanted to. Uh, I've I've used my reroll, so I I wanted a blitz. If I used my if I didn't use my reroll, my handoff, I would have blitzed. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, like you can't blitz then, you can't stab, and then, like, if you blitz stab, you can't carry on moving, can you? And you can't blitz uh, chainsaw and carry on moving, and you can't blitz breathe fire and carry on moving, but you can blitz vomit and keep on moving. So it is different. It is different to those, those three. For some reason, I don't know why, but it is different to those three. Anybody's guess at Games Workshop. Maybe they just forgot to put it in. <laughs> Maybe they just literally forgot to put it in. But uh, I mean, I am sure because I read it. There's, there is no line the same as uh, stab. And so, like, stab specifically says, you know, you, it ends your movement. Chainsaw says it ends your movement. The uh, breathe fire says it ends your movement. And vomit doesn't say that. So, vomit absolutely does not end your movement on a blitz. 100%. 100%. I looked up the rules for vomit when... Uh, when... <laughs> I, I looked up the rules for vomit when Elliot did it in the in the uh, Season 2 Finals. 
because he like it was uh it was yeah it was it was bugged in that it didn't cost him a square of movement um i think they fixed it but i'm not sure i think they fixed it Bugged on release for like six months or something, and nobody, nobody knew. <laughs> oh, the quick snap! Damn, I've only got one to make a goblin block. I should have thought about putting another one there in case of a goblin block. With block, block with block. Block with block. Yes. But three D this goblin, I guess. Rather than having to do the uh, troll block first. I could do the troll block with block, right? But then I want to. I want to do it with my ego. Huh. One, two, three, four. Maybe I just put him here first, so that there's like you know there's something stopping the uh, goblin foe. And then if I want in nine, I want in nine. I mean, I could try and vomit, but I'm not going. To. Oh shit! Well, that fucks me a little bit. Stab gear SPP for Okay, now I can go for a pickup. Um if I uphill this guy and fail he can knock him over and then blitz so at the moment. But he can block him and then he can blitz him. So he can get pressure anyway. So an uphill is 30% chance of getting knocked over. And a 1D is 33, so the uphill is slightly better, isn't it? Good enough. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it's alright, I mean... Phew. It's all right. Bad player, never punished. Good. I mean, you know, it was. I really probably should have uh, <laughs> almost certainly just <laughs> blocked with the uh, big one. But, you know, make sure it worked. So I could free my blitz at the blitz the gobble. <laughs> Got a little bit lucky there, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the little bit lucky was not was not sculling, wasn't it? That was a little bit lucky. Um, <laughs> getting the knockdown and then casting him <laughs> was insane. Yep, but it was still the right decision, right? Still the right decision to pull him. Still the right decision to pull him. Um, yep. Well, arguably because. He's put down fifty percent of the time on the on the one D, isn't he? So this was less likely to put him down. Oh my goodness. We got a slightly lucky there, a little bit teeny little bit lucky there. <laughs> this guy could uh It's like vaguely possible to surf this black orc, isn't it? But um not worth worrying about. Some people would say comedy maker, yeah.
person. <laughs> uh, where, where's the ball? What, uh, what, what am I even doing here? Put the eye cage against goblins so that nothing, nothing silly can happen. Instant full power. Irrelevant block before the one that vaguely matters. Perfect. Tiny, tiny bit lucky though. This is ridiculous now, isn't it? Really, what is it? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine players versus eleven. Yeah, if Cheergan and Stor both say "Mighty Blow Zerkers," then um, then that's right, isn't it? That's a, that's the way I look at it, Dimmy. With block, <laughs> another removal. <laughs> Not terrible. Oh. Kind of annoying. I need to think for one second. It's not easy. I think he has to go up here first. And then he goes there. So that this one is a three dice. And this one's a three dice. Want to serve. This one's too deep. Funny how much better a turn is if, like, you think a tiny amount, isn't it? I probably could. Well, I, I wanted to block him, follow up block if it was a push. So that wasn't uh, too terrible. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Art.
Great eight. Great eight. Great eight. Hey. So even even the troll going stupid here isn't terrible. It doesn't go stupid though. Get in range first. Is it my turn? <laughs> it's like, why is he taking so long? <laughs> oh dear. Did I, did I save this? I'll let him I'll let him score the one turn if he wants to. Doesn't matter to me. That is what you'll think to me, yeah. Oh wow, Black Ox new BBT. Oh, is the is BBT started, has it? The new BBT. Or is it the end of BBT? Is it the end of the old BBT? And that's why you spam through. No, 119 days remaining. It's literally just started. Okay. Rough. Oh my god, Yudi's. Yudi's cost is one. <laughs> he's got goblins, corn, halflings, and orcas. And he's 7 2 3. <laughs> <laughs> so far. <laughs> what a madman. What an absolute madman. Right, well there you go, that was uh that was pretty easy one there, you know, diced him. Di had had all the best dice and obviously black orcs aren't very good, so you know, pretty nice, pretty nice. There was there were some scary moments. I should have played better on the the one days from the goblins. I guess I should have just done something, maybe rolled a few dice earlier, like the extra GFI and stuff, just to try and protect harder against it. But I was just, you know, trying to avoid the absolute worst case scenario, but maybe I should have been planning to succeed a little bit more and make the success state a little bit better on some of them. Um, and then second half it was over, wasn't it? Especially with the, uh, especially with the uphill, <laughs> the uphill the cars. So there you go. GG. Uh, Toby Nathan thanks for watching everybody don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic